What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Jell 34 here bringing us more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And today, we're going to be traveling back into the DLC map called Sideshow. Now, what happened in this gameplay was that I managed to go 35 kills and 6 deaths. 35 kills and 6 deaths, ladies and gentlemen. And in what game mode? Team Deathmatch. And the most kills you can get in this game mode, it's 75. So apparently, I almost got half of the freaking kills in the game. So that's insane, man. And uh, another thing is that my teammates fucking sucked. All right, this is what I'm stuck with every single time I'm playing solo here in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, right? Now listen to the scoreboard. This is These are my teammates, the ones that I'm playing with in this game. One of my teammates' name is called Pitman39. This guy went 8 kills and 10 deaths. My other teammate named Insert Gamer Tag 19 who's apparently in the clan, went 15 kills and 16 deaths. Now that one's kind of all right, you know, except that he died so many times. Uh, the other teammate named Mashed Potato 91 went 7 and 10. 7 kills and 10 deaths. Now listen to this one. This one's the one that really pissed me the hell off. Like seriously, why the fuck are you even playing this game? So his name is Big Swagger 72 He went 6 kills and 21 deaths. Wow. And I carried his ass to victory, apparently. This is a big sign that I really need a clan, man. So anyways, <laughs> how the fuck can I play with these kinds of people, man? Seriously, how the hell did I win? Well, I did my best to freaking win the game. That's just, oh, that's the, my motto right now. Just fucking win every single game however you want to and the best way you can. So, hey. It came out to this and pretty much of a great gameplay. Another thing that you guys need to know about this gameplay is, is that I, I was using the weapon called the AK-12. And just in case you're, what are you, uh, just in case you're wondering that what attachments am I using for the weapon, I already did a base class setup for the AK-12. And by the way, this is the original AK-12. This is not another version. It is the original one, and I already did a base class setup on it. Go to that video and watch and listen to the details that I said there because it's gonna help you guys out, and also it's gonna tell you guys what distance should you keep your this weapon from because. From short distance, I'm telling you guys right now, it fucking sucks. It's not good for one-on-one -on -one combat. It's pretty much better for long-range combat, and you should be able to snipe enemies from across the freaking map. That's why this gun, it is the most accurate weapon in the whole game. If you guys try out the bell, that motherfucker shakes like crazy. It has a lot of recoil after that update. Uh, the HBER, whatever his name, the name of that assault rifle is, that one's super slow. And that's why I never used that gun again, because it shoots super slow. It needs rapid fire or some bullshit, because I, I don't like how it shoots. It goes like that, 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 that. Like, what the fuck is that? I'd rather just use a single shot and shit, but hey, that's a fucking HBER, whatever the fuck the name is. So that's why I, I went exactly back to the AK-12 and tried it out, and I found the best class setup for it, and I've been doing good lately here in Team Deathmatch. So that's what I've been using a lot lately. If you guys have been watching my gameplays, the AK-12 is the main weapon that I've been using. And also the ASM-1, but it's, it's rarely, because the ASM-1 is kind of a try-hard weapon, and I've been doing good with it, like, at least, like, when it comes down to ground war, I go, like, at least 30 to 40 kills per game. So, it kind of bores me out, so I ended up going to other weapons that bring me a little bit more challenge. So, um, yeah, the AK-12 lately on Team Deathmatch game modes, I've been using the AK-12. So, yeah. Anyways... Another thing I would like to talk about is my kill streaks. I managed to call in all my kill streaks at least twice each. It's kind of insane. And also in this gameplay, I broke a personal record. I went 20 kills in a row without dying. It could have been 25, but I fucking messed up from a close range battle and I didn't see him like that good because I was a little bit confident and bam, I fucking got shot on my face. Oh, I think I got knife. Never mind. I think I got punched. So that's why I think it's about to happen right now. He appears right there, goes across the door, and bam, ended up being punched. Fucking dick. As you can see, I got the Relentless Killer, the Blitzkrieg, or whatever his name is. Relentless, there it is, there's the middle. 20 kills in a row without dying. So that's my evidence right there. I did a great hell of a job in this gameplay, guys. It's just that my teammates fucking sucked. I can't stand these kinds of people. Like, how are you playing this game and not be good at it? Like, come on, man, it's not that hard. Well, actually, it kind of is since you have to fucking jump all over the goddamn place. But, you know, you guys get my point. Is that you just can't go 6-21 and 21 and expect to play another game like that. Just return the game and go into Battlefield Hardline or something else. Because uh, those kinds of games are for kids. Seriously, yes. A lot of people say that Battlefield is for adults. But if you search it up in YouTube, most of the videos are comedy and for kids. 
it's, I don't understand what the fuck. <laughs> so, so seriously, like, it's kind of a backward situation there. So that's it, guys. I thought I wanted to talk about, you know, Sideshow DLC is pretty much of a okay DLC if nobody, like, if not, everybody's, like, sniping and shit because it kind of gets annoying. There was a whole uh, game mode, uh, there was a whole gameplay where actually, you know, team, the both teams were sniping and I was like, fucking shit, and I can't snipe in this gameplay. In this game, you know, I fucking, I fucking suck at sniping in this game. I was pretty much good in Modern Warfare 3, but when it comes out to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, I fucking sucked. So uh, that's why I didn't, I don't like sniping in this, in this game. Um, another thing that happened was that um, if everybody's like rushing around, you pretty much get a good game out of it. You can get like at least 20 kills back to back. But I recommend still using a long range weapon because with a short range weapon like an SMG, it's going to get you killed pretty easily. So that is it. Uh, if you guys like the gameplay, make sure you leave a like on the video and support the video because, um, you know, I, that will let me know if you guys want to see more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Because I switched over from Battlefield Hardline to this because I know Battlefield Hardline was just for kids. Seriously, the, every single content in YouTube. It's pretty much of a comedy video on Battlefield. So, anyways, yeah, subscribe for more. You guys want to see more uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplays and also more DLC maps because I'll be buying everything uh, already and also custom classes and whatever I get in this gameplay. In this game, I'll be showing it here on YouTube. So, that is it. Subscribe for more. You guys want to see more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare.